All right, let's get into it. Use that glue. Bring up the knee to hip height. What's up everybody? It's your boy Boston Scott with the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to the Eagles vlog. And today we are gonna hop into how to train like an NFL running back. This is my hood. We're gonna be stretching, working out, hopping into meetings. Y'all gonna see just how important this position is. Let's go. As a running back coach, it's, it's my job, my responsibility to make sure that my players are ready to go on game day. A lot of the guys are just working on some of their fundamental skills and traits, their speed, their strength, their power. And a lot of that they'll get here in the weight room. We'll take a little bit of that onto the field. And some of the parts that we're working right now is just the mental aspect, understanding what to do specifically on plays. Just a big part of this is, is really developing our guys to become the best they can be on Sundays. Blaze pots, and the the purpose of this is to just train your hand-eye coordination as well as like reaction time. It really comes down to a lot of things. If you can have that coordination with your hands and eyes, like you can block, you can catch the ball. I just think it helps with your overall athleticism. You know, I do this pretty much every morning. My name is Fernando Noriega. I'm the head strength and conditioning coach for the Eagles. So there's two different layers before the running backs hit the field. One is here in the weight room. We got to make sure we do enough to do pre-stretch activation. Again, keep your elbow tucked in. We get 12 on each one. Rotating in. Use that glue, use that glue. One right here, hip flexion. Diving up. You do a roll, external rotation, roll. External rotation, you got 12. From there, a running back goes out onto the field and then we stretch as a team. The primary goal as uh, a stretch is to start very general and then slowly build our way up to be very specific into what they're going to do on the field. Right now, this is just like the soft tissue part of the circuit. We just prep our bodies, you know, for a day of work. I'm done with coffee. You know what? Let's talk about it. The past two weeks, my coffee gets smacked when they playing basketball in the auditorium. In the, auditorium. In the team meeting room, man. He just got bad luck when it comes to basketball and golf. The running backs will come in. We'll take them through a three-station prep circuit that will last about 10 to 12 minutes. From there, we'll break them up into groups. They go into the power and then the strength aspect of it. So we're talking about quads, hamstring, glutes, core, pec, lats, uh, finishing with the auxiliary and then core exercises. Before we get started, right, you come here, this is where you find all the workouts, right? It starts out with the clean pulls. There's three sets of three. We have the starting weight. We have the uh, goal for the velocity. This whole routine takes about 40 minutes to complete. Uh, that's not including the warm up. The gym aware helps us make sure that we are hitting the goal of today. If it's an explosive day, we'll set the velocity to look higher and make sure that they move in the barbell fast enough. Went to the meeting room. Uh, we just installed uh, another part of the playbook. Uh, now we're going to the RB meeting room, break down stuff positionally. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, ain't too much. We got a little break, but we're gonna, we're gonna hop into it. <laughs> got AJ in the back with the random noises. Reggie! Uh, gotta say what's up to Reggie. Reggie gonna be in the meeting with us. About a clock in. All right, let's get into it. You know, the position meeting is really the, the lifeblood of position group. That's where you get into the detail of exactly what a running back has to do, very specific to them. Getting off the ball, attacking that defender, boom, to be able to hit it and drive. It's class, and we are trying to teach them football. 
1225 is the walkthrough. Same majestic. Get down the field a little bit more and be explosive. Get out. Yeah, buddy, you're ready for practice. Get out there, get some work in. A little walkthrough and a little seven on seven. Job security. A lot of the drills that you incorporate on the field is, is sometimes need-based. We want to be authentic. We want to make a drill that really correlates to what they do in the game. So we're going to do everything from footwork to ball skills to pass pro blocking. There's so many different drills that we have to incorporate weekly just to prepare our guys to play. We have a saying in the building, ball security is job security. If you don't take care of the ball, you don't have a job. Whether we win or lose is going to be very dependent on whether we turn the ball over or not. And defensively, whether they take it away or not. So so that's really the most important fundamental that an offensive team we have. I want to keep the ball in my outside arm towards the sideline protected while enabling to have my inside hand for a stiff arm. So as you see during a drill of the day, you'll see the blocking portion, but then you'll see the ball carry go through the bags, run through like he's running through traffic with his clasp hand, stiff arm, a big green ball that we're simulating as a defender, right? And then he's getting punched on the outside just to remind him with the punch to K, I still have to keep the ball tight because there's guys that I won't see that are gonna be taking stabs at the ball. I think by now they have windshield wipers for your visor, but they don't. First one's always hot. First one's hot. Always. Oh! Hey, Kelly, whenever I do that, bro, I'll be putting one already. Like that spin move? That was smooth, wasn't it? That was smooth, wasn't it? I always kick it too far. Hey man, another day in the life of running back, man. Y'all are out here witnessing it first person with your boy. You know, we got some great work in. Had some great seven on seven. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We crafting, we getting yeah. better, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. We out.